Hey everyone, it's Legend Begins. I just wanted to let you know with this video that we had a bit of an issue going forward with the recording software. So as you know, the audio has been kind of low, at least it was last video, and it is this video, at least the game audio, excuse me. But the problem that I'm facing right now is that for some reason, in the video itself, it introduced a lot of skipping. So I have no way of actually fixing that because the footage is, you know, skipped over, but I didn't think that it would be authentic if I just re-recorded the footage. I kind of wanted you guys to get my actual legitimate reaction. So you can decide what you want to do. Like I often like, in, or I enjoy watching a lot of Let's Plays just by, well, not watching them, <laughs> by listening to them, but you're free to do what you'd like. Uh, I did a lot to the ending though, because apparently it cut out the last boss fight. So I'm having a lot of software glitches. Hopefully we'll have those fixed up by, uh, I want to say Monday, or actually by next video. So. We'll get this all worked out. Don't worry about it. I've got the skills and the technology to win. So don't worry. I'm just going to go ahead and put the ending because I thought it was really funny and I spent a lot of time working on it. And I think you guys will like it as well. So thanks for watching. And uh, just let me know what you guys think. So feel free to listen to it, to watch it despite the skipping because it's not that bad. Or uh, do what you want. I don't own you. So thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the video. Tails, give me the ring. No! I don't have any rings. I'm dead. I am dead. I am dead. And I died. Just like I said I would, because I am correct. Yo, what's going to begin here? And I am still playing Sonic Mania. I love this game. This is Gate. This is Gate. This is Bill Gate. Tss. 10 out of 10. 10 out of Mania. 10 out of Sonic. I bet you there's a there's a big ring. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. Force of habit. I'm sorry. I but I avoided it. Come on, Tails. Up, 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 up. Get me the thing. Get me the thing. Get me the thing. Where's the golden ring? No rings? No rings. That's a shame. It's okay, though. Uh-oh. I just jumped off the edge. Where am I going? What's my purpose? Who am I going to destroy today? I gotta get onto that thing. That's what I'm gonna destroy. I'm gonna destroy Robotnik. Let's go. Well. Give me. Okay, cool. So we got 24 of our rings back. I think those the, there's like just a certain number of hyper rings that come out, and you get like a proportion of your total rings. I don't know. I noticed though, whenever you get hit, you act you uh, end up losing hyper rings as well if you have a ton of rings on you. I think those just represent the rings that you're not able to actually get, like get back. Because of course you couldn't have all of those rings on screen at the same time. You'd run out of computer memory. I promise you guys, I'm a computer science as computer scientist. I know my computer lingo. Come on, Tails. Come on, Tails. Don't fail me. Don't fail me. You failed me. Drop dash. So good! Is this the boss? I don't think this is the boss. I really like these in Sonic 3. I always did. Oh. This is the boss. What am I doing? How do I play? Okay. Oh, I got I got some air. Cool. This is kind of neat. I don't I don't mind this. I like it. Why is that one a different color? I don't know. Uh-oh. Okay, so that's activated. I don't have any rings though. I could really use some rings game. Game, give me some rings. Or some or some air. There's a bubble. Whoo! Thank you, game. Okay, so I get it. I get it. These are like water mines and I'm trying to blow him up. I'd always like to blow up Robotnik. He's a pretty, pretty bad human being. Well, so much for that. Back to the boss, and hopefully this time we won't totally fail. Are there some rings here? 
Am I just not gonna get ring? Okay, cool, I'm getting rings. Whew, that scared me for a second. I always like that, because these can break away in Sonic 3, I would always just like, I would press, because as soon as you press the, uh, the jump button, they would break. I would just press the jump button right away. Oh, that's brilliant game design, how it's just, um, how it forces you to hit the first two to show you that you have to activate them. That's awesome. Give me the bubble. Thank you. Okay, I got the hang of this now. I'm not concerned. Okay, we did it. Well, I mean, we got another hit. We haven't beaten it, of course. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Well, I just got hit. That's the, the last of my rings. But there, here's some more oxygen. So, we gotta hit him with another one and not get hit by any spikes, which is... Which is a bit of a gamble, I would say. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. Okay. He's dead? He's dead. We're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. And we got some rings. We're safe. I bet you that's not the end, though. Of course it's not the end. This reminds me of the the other boss from Sonic 3. Sorry, I hesitated there. This this looks very familiar. This is just like the other boss from Sonic 3. This is like the first boss! It's a cool callback! Thank you, Tails, for hitting him. But he has this other thing that's like from the end in Metropolis Zone or something. I don't know. Those things are spinning around. And I can't hit him, I guess. I guess I would just die. I don't understand the point of that attack very much, but I'll let Tails hit him for the most part. But I guess if I hit those little things, um, the rocket things, uh-oh, I would take damage? That's all I can guess. Give me the ring, give me the ring, give me the ring. Okay, we're good. Hit him, hit him, hit him. No! Okay, we'll be fine. We're running out of time. We are running out of time. We have 20 sec- we're not gonna win- we can't beat this boss. It isn't possible for us to beat this boss. Tails, I need you to hit this thing. Nope, we're dead. We have three seconds, two seconds, one second, dead. Well, that's a shame. I don't like timing over, but I guess it's a part of life, isn't it? We all time over from time to time. Get it? Because it's time? Oh, well. We're gonna beat this boss. We're gonna see what the... Oh, crap. I gotta beat the first part again. Oh, well, at least my time reset. Does the time only reset when I get a time over? Is that how it works? I don't really get it, personally. Because I, I, I don't think I've been on this... Actually, I know I've not been on this boss for 10 minutes. I have a timer right in front of me to tell me that I haven't been on this boss for 10 minutes. I don't get it, guys. I just don't get it. Does the time just go back... To, like, does it just keep going until you time over and then it resets? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I'm sure you guys know. You guys know everything. Okay. Okay. We're good. I think I have to hit him before I get oxygen. That's kind of an interesting concept. Oh, crud. I'm out of rings. Because if that's the case, it means that I actually have to do well to survive. I can't just be like, well, I'm not going to hit him. And so I think it also means I have to hit him. Like, I, can't, I can only miss one before I start to drown or something. Come on, Eggman. I'm f Robotnik, you're done. You're done, son. I got my three rings, my three rings, that's all I need. Kill him. Tails, kill him for me. Ah, uh, give me rings. Rings. Okay, we got all three of them. So that's kind of what I meant when I said, like, the spin dash is more limiting than the drop dash, because right there, I couldn't, like, enter the spin dash at all. I don't really understand the point of this attack, but anyway. Maybe it's to drown me if necessary. Rings. Okay, Tails. That's that's my strategy right now, is just let Tails hit him. Well, that's that, I guess. Oh, hi, v v v Ventus Nightwalker, playing Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Tails, why didn't you hit him for me? Okay, Tails, you hit him. Okay, we did it. We're good. We're good. We're good. Nice. Good job, guys. You did this all on you. Uh -huh, I like the little flying contraption at the top. That's kind of cool. It reminds me of um, a photo reel or a movie reel. The way they're spinning. It's really cool. So yeah, that's the end. Oh, cool, we ended at 159. I'm not sure how significant that is. Oh, cool, this is one of the new zones. It's Mirage Saloon. Oh, hi, Knuckles. Oh, this is a, a callback to the uh, Sonic 
two, I think. Am I starting off with the boss battle? What? He's a magician. Cool. I'm guessing I can't spin dash off of the plane like I could in Sonic Sonic 2. At least I hope I can't. Nope, I can't. Good. Oh, and those turtles that... I did. Never mind. Okay. Whatever. Did, was that a callback to the, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly right there? Did it just go... Doo! Oh, well. This is cool. I can't hit him. That's a shame. This is so neat. I want to hear that music. This is the coolest stage ever. Well, I don't know. The, um... Darn it. What was it? Um, Man, I'm so bad at remembering stages in this playthrough. I don't get it. Um... Wow. Studiopolis. That's what I was trying to say. How could I forget that? Anyway, Studiopolis was excellent. That's my favorite stage so far. Okay, so those don't hurt me. I don't know, guys. I hope I hope this is just as good as Studiopolis, because I, I felt like the um, Press Garden wasn't necessarily quite as good. I thought that was a little bit on the weak side. I like those things trying to attack me. That, those are kind of kind of neat looking. Kind of like homing missiles. Sonic doesn't have the homing attack in this game. I know I just heard the good, the bad, and the ugly just going, Doo! Thank you, Tails, for waiting on me. I appreciate the shield. Well, I guess there goes that shield. It's okay. Rings are all the shield I need. Killed both of those dudes. Let's go down. Well, get some rings. Get one ring. Get two rings. And no rings. We are not healthy right now. It's great. I love it. I love being about to die. <clears throat> it's the best situation. It's a train! This is so cool! Man, I sound so lame when I say that. Was that a gun? Oh, this is the stage! I get to see the whole stage! This is sweet! Oh, and a big ring. This reminds me of uh, Mega Man Zero... Four? Uh, I don't remember which... No, it's not. It can't be four. It's two. I, I think it's two. Oh, well. This stage is easier than the last one. I'm not very concerned. I like this one. For some reason, I thought it was before the last special stage. Anyway. Um, yeah, but it reminds... The train... There was a train level on Mega Man Zero Two. It was Zero Two. I'm sure it was Zero Two. Was it zero two? It had to be. It was zero two. I remember for sure now because he had the boss that wasn't that strong. So I always feel comfortable if I get to Mach three and I have sixty rings, which I think we'll be able to do fine. Jump over that because that's a pit. And grab a bunch of these. So we're at thirty one. Maybe we won't be able to get to sixty, but I think we'll be okay. This stage has a lot of rings. It's not very concerning to me. Actually, I'd rather go this way. Okay, so we're doing okay. We might actually just catch up with this guy at Mach 2. Who knows? Find out next time on... No, we'll do it this... We'll do it right now. I'd kind of like to catch up with him at... Well, never mind. Already at Mach 3. <laughs> so much for that. I know I can jump to make myself maneuver better, but who needs it? Because we just destroyed this stage. That is... Th three? That's only three? I thought we had, like... Well, I guess we only have three. Never mind, then. Okay, that was... Okay, I know that was the good, bad, and the ugly. That was 100%. I'm sorry, I can't hear the music as, as well as you guys. It's not as loud for me. Because I'm trying to prevent it from seeping into the recording. Is that a bull enemy? That's awesome! This is... Oh, I got a lightning shield. I love the lightning shield. I'm probably going to lose it right away. Like I do with all of my shields. Look, it's a gun. Oh, and it's going to shoot me! This is awesome! I wonder if I could have kept going forward and just not got, like, got in the, got, got inside of the gun. I don't know. Okay, this is definitely holding up to the standard that... Oh my, this reminds me of, um, Zombies Eat My Neighbors, honestly. The, that, that one dragon-like boss or whatever. Not dragon, but, well, how do I hit him? 
Okay, that's how I hit him. Uh, the big worm-like boss. What? I don't know how to hit this guy. Anyway. Huh. Can I just not get hit if I'm... in the spin ball? Well, we just hit him. Okay. Anyway, what was I gonna say? This is definitely holding up to the standards set by Studiopolis. I love this. Oh, and that one stage I couldn't remember in last episode, it was Aquatic Ruins, by the way. I didn't even look it up. It just hit me. I was like, I bet you now that I'm not thinking of it, I could remember the stage name. And lo and behold, not high and behold, but lo and behold, I could. This is a cool boss. I like it. It's like the Caterkiller. I think it's called a Caterkiller, but it's big. Uh-oh. We are out of rings, people. Officially, we are gonna die. I'll be okay. Okay, how many hits does this guy take? And I don't know why I'm jumping back and forth, or not jumping, but walking back and forth like this, but I am. So, we... Okay, we got him hit an again. I know he's taking damage, because that's definitely the taking damage sound. I really appreciate the game's implemented... There we go. Just, like, a standard way of telling that you hit an enemy. Okay. I don't know if that made any sense, but just, like, in that... Well... <laughs> That's funny. It just kind of floats. Anyway, just like in that, you could hear the sound, and it's like, oh, okay, you definitely know you're doing damage. Because, for example, on the Eggman um, Spider Boss on um, Flying Battery, you know it didn't do damage because it wouldn't make that sound. Instead, it would make, like, the bing sound. Oh, this guy's from Sonic the Fighters, I think! That's awesome! At least I know he was in Sonic the Fighters. I don't know if that was where he was from. Oh, well. Guys, this game is so good. Mirage Saloon. I love it. This this definitely reminds me of, of Mega Man Zero Two because there's also a desert stage, and it kind of it just kind of feels like th this. I don't know, guys. Is this a bumper? This is. Huh. Sorry, I'm just trying to listen to the music just a little bit. There are a lot of enemies here. Oh, cool! It's like a little saloon! It's an ice cream bar! And this music is so chill. I love this. Oh, and there's the magic dude. Wait, nice going, Tails. You discovered it. You discovered the secret, Tails. Thank you, Tails. Oh, it's Ega Seltzer. I get it. Because <laughs> it's like Alka Seltzer, but it's not. This is so neat. Can I. Oh, this. That's like the guy from. Um, this is just like the guy from. What was it? Casino Night Zone, wasn't it? Where he had he could like roll into a ball like you could and he would like attack you, but nobody would ever really Turn it! I always lose my shields, but nobody would ever really see it. Oh, and I like how it has like the, a squeaky chair sound. This is such a good stage. I wanna get on these again. Let me on this. That's so cool. And that's no good. I'm trying to play music here. Okay. I wonder what I have to do to actually get these to hit. Because it. I tried it. Darn it, I missed that. Okay. Anyway, what I was trying to say is like I tried pushing the jump button and it didn't work. What are these guys' references to? Those guys are all in Sonic the Fighters. Why is Sonic Mania so good? This game is so good. I wonder if there's anything hidden here. And just this aesthetic. It's aesthetic! Someone in the comments do like the, the fun text thing where you like, you're like aesthetics or something like that, and it's all written in a fancy font. Do it. I know you want to, and you know you want to. We all want to. I'll get shot again. That sounds... Okay, so I can choose when I get shot, I think, maybe. 
I don't know, that sounded kind of bad out of context. I got shot again! There's a... an electric shield right there. That's something I'd like to get. Oh, I don't get to use my electric shield right now, because I'm invincible! I bet you I, I know I will still, um, draw rings in like that. Okay. We're good. Okay, we're good. I can't do my drop dash now, but that's fine, because I get a double jump. I don't want a water sh shield. So much for that. Oh, look, a life. We could actually use those, because for some reason I'm really good at getting game overs, I guess. It's because I'm speaking. That is my excuse. I make my excuse officially the fact that I'm doing a commentary. It's a boss time. It's boss time. It's a magician. I wish I had my electric shield. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, this is the dude from Sonic the Fighters. I don't remember his name. I'm sorry. Well. Um, what was his name? Well, couldn't hit him. It's fine. This isn't that hard of a boss, I don't think. Well, as soon as I say that, he's going to do something new. It's going to be the fat dude, I bet. Nope, it's not. It's this other guy. I bet you can uh, stun lock him if you're good. <laughs> For speedrunners, I guess. The only people who'd... Well, well, we're not going to hit him. He can throw bombs. Go and get hit. Now it's going to be the fat dude. The only dude left. Yep. This is such a cool boss fight. He's a magician, and he can change shape. Tails, give me the ring. No! I don't have any rings. I'm dead. I am dead. I am dead. And I died. Just like I said I would, because I am correct.